Hi guys, this is Tammy again. I'm here to talk to you about my cookbook that I was telling you about was well, not cooking. It is a recipe book for raw foods by Jennifer Cornbley. Jennifer Cornbley's book is Raw Foods Made Easy for One and Two One or Two People. And I found a recipe that I really, really liked in here. I made it once and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I thought maybe that this could be um, something that you can use and probably introduce you to the raw food world because not necessarily you have to have cooked food to feel full and feel satisfied. I've been using Jennifer Cornby's book for a couple months now and I'm going to tell you it has really changed my life. It's given me an opportunity to explore some of the vegetables and fruits and the combinations wherein this cookbook that has really changed my whole outlook on being able to stay on this raw food diet. Don't get me wrong, I'm still like experimenting with things. So, I still eat cooked foods. I have not yet totally given it up, but I'm taking baby steps and I'm eating a whole lot more fresh, ripe fruits and vegetables than I did before. So, I've taken a small approach to a big picture of my life. So, I'll show you the recipe. Let's get started. Now, the recipe that I'm going to be making today is in Jennifer Cornbley's book, page 68, and it's called Not Tuna Pate. Sounds weird, huh? Believe me, it's good. It's called Not Tuna Pate because actually, this recipe reminds you of tuna fish but we're not gonna be using fish. You ready guys? Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put my cookbook over here and then I'm gonna go ahead and follow the ingredients and things like that. I'll walk you through my recipe. Okay, so this recipe that I'm gonna talk about and that we're gonna, I'm gonna share with you guys is um, not tuna pate. It calls for a half a cup of soaked raw sunflower seeds, a half a cup of raw almonds, two tablespoons of water, fresh lemon juice, salt, I use sea salt, minced celery, onion, and parsley. And that's it. Simple, Ooh, huh? So, okay. So I went and I bought these almonds from Walgreens. I know that I should be buying fresher almonds, but that was all that was available to me at the time. So I bought these. So those are gonna be used. And then I went to the grocery store and I bought a bag of um, seeded sunflower seeds. This bag cost me $2.50. This bag cost me about $3. So, I'm just going to go ahead and experiment. I'm putting this. a little twist into this because, see, I've done this before and it worked out really well for me. So, I am going to add some cashews to my pate. So that's one thing about cooking. Once you know the recipes that you like, you can either add or subtract things to your liking. So the object of all of this is actually to get us to stay on raw foods. And what you're looking at right now is my food processor. I have put my, I've put my almonds, my cashews, and my sunflower seeds in here. Now, one thing that the recipe calls for is that you soak your nuts. So what I did is, before I actually turned on the camera, yesterday afternoon, I put my almonds in a jar. Okay, I put my almonds in the jar. And I added water to them because this recipe calls for you to soak your nuts. And I just used some spring, you know, spring water or distilled water. I just put it in a regular jar. This is just an old um, dip jar. And I soaked my almonds and I just sat them on the counter and I let it soak for 24 hours. Well anyway, this is my finished product. So what I've done too is, I am going to add 
fresh, fresh garlic. So I've already added my garlic to this recipe as well. Then I added sea salt for taste. Not a lot, just enough for taste. Then I'm going to squeeze a I'm lemon. I'm going to squeeze a half, a half a lemon into this recipe. I know this is not really a safe way to squeeze your lemon, but it's effective for me. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. And now I am going to go ahead and process the almonds, the sunflower seeds, and the cashews along with the garlic in the food processor. Now it looks like it's getting a little dry. And what you want to do is while it's processing, you want to stop every now and then and you want to push down your nuts so that they can, mmm, smells, smells really good guys, so that everything can be ground up. I always scrape the bottom too just to be sure that what's at the bottom gets ground up as well. Okay. Mmm. Delish. Delish. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this. It says two tablespoons, but because I've doubled my ingredients, I'll need a little bit more water. But once you get the cookbook, you can follow the directions precisely. You know how we women are once we get a recipe we really like. We like to jazz it up. Stir this up really good. This is basically what it's going to look like. once you continue to blend it. Okay, then I cut up my celery and I'm going to cut up my onions separately. You don't mix those into your, your pate, into your processor. Do not. This has to be separate. Usually I could use a food processor, but I, I choose to do this by hand because I like my celery and my onions to, to add a little crunchiness to my recipe. Okay, so I have my onion and my celery cut up. Okay, so now for the sake of this video, I am just going to finish up. grinding my my nuts my seeds and the garlic along with the other ingredients I'm going to take out the blade and I am going to go ahead and I'm going to mix all the other ingredients together doesn't it kind of look like tuna fish <laughs> It's such a trip that we can use common nuts and seeds, fruits and vegetables to create real meals that will help you to stay raw. This has been like amazing to me. So now I am going to just go ahead and add my garlic and my
And then I'm gonna add some parsley flakes to it. Oopsie. The recipe doesn't call for this, but I like dill. So I'm adding dill. And then I'm just gonna mix it together like a tuna fish. And it all comes together really nice. Look at that, you guys. Oh my God. It smells wonderful. It does. It smells so good. And it's just like, oh, that's a big piece. Mmm. That's really good. That onion is really strong. Got my eyes kind of burning. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my dish. And there is my not, my t not tuna pate. Now that's enough for me to eat for the week. Not tuna pate. It looks there just it like tuna not fish. tuna pate. This is a recipe from Jennifer Cornbley's recipe book. Food, raw foods made easy for one and two people. You guys should try it. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you guys try it because it's amazing. It's not, I, you can't compare it to a hamburger, of course, but this is something that's really great to help you stay on the raw food path and get yourself a better chance at health. This is Tammy at Tammy Tam's Glam Slam Review. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Did you see how easy and non-effortless this was? I didn't cook a thing and I have a nice little meal. Now if you want to eat this as a sandwich or something, you would grab a piece of lettuce wrap, well, a piece of lettuce, and wrap it in your lettuce and that would be your tuna sandwich. A healthy, vegetarian, vegan, raw food sandwich. Mmm. It's really good. I'm very pleased with it. And I'm gonna honestly tell I'm gonna honestly tell you. I wanted to go and grab some fast food, but now that I've made this and I'll eat this, this will help to satisfy my hunger. And you can eat as much of it as you want. But do remember that nuts and seeds are very, very high in fat. So you have to eat it in moderation, but that's with anything. We have to eat in moderation. Bye, guys.